Is your PC running slow? Your C drive might be clogged with unnecessary files, slowing everything down. Today, I will show you how to clean your C drive without using any third party software. Just build in Windows tools. This will free up your space and speed up your system in just a few minutes. Before we begin, hit the subscribe button for more quick and effective tech tips. Step one is to delete some temporary files. We can do this by pressing the Windows key button and then R and we'll open this window right here. What we can do right now is type temp just like this and then press enter. After doing this, you have to give permission. So make sure you have administrative privileges on this PC. Let's continue. You're going to a folder where only temporary files are. So that means you can delete all of these. What I recommend you do is you either drag it out or you can press Ctrl A and it will select all the items and then do Shift and Delete. This will make sure you permanently delete the files and it doesn't go to your recycle bin, which we also have to clean later on. So let's click here on yes. Sometimes this can happen, means that some applications are being used. Let's just click on do this for all current items and then click on skip. This will skip them and just leave them there. The next temporary file we can clear is this one. Go back to your run window, which open with Windows key and R, then use percentage, then temp and percentage again and press enter. Now you will be going to this folder. You can maybe get an administrative privileges pop up, click yes and continue to this folder. Now you can do the same thing, control A and then shift delete, permanently deleting these files that are only temporary for your computer and they are not needed to make it faster. It just takes a lot of space. Let's do this again for all items and skip it. Now we can get to the second step, which is your recycle bin. If you delete files without using shift delete, you will put them in your recycle bin nine out of 10 times. Sometimes a file is that big that it doesn't go to the recycle bin, but normally it does. So let's clear the recycle bin. Very easy, right click on it and then empty recycle bin. There you go, very easy. If you don't have a recycle bin on your desktop, let me fix that for you. Press the Windows icon, go to the start menu, search for desktop icons, which will open Teams and related settings. After doing this, make sure you scroll down and then find desktop icon settings. Now I'm going to open this, it's going to open a different kind of window. And here we can, of course, select the recycle bin if we want it enabled or not. You can see it disappearing and now it's appearing again. So maybe you had that deselected. There you go. The second one is removing unused programs. What we can do is press the Windows key again and then search for add or remove programs. If you can find this, we can continue. Then you will see apps and installed apps. It will have to take a minute to load all the apps on your computer. Right here, we have all drives, which is the one you want to select mainly the C drive and here we have sort by and we want to sort by large to small which means the largest files and then the smallest ones and you can see Call of Duty is taking a lot of space if you don't play this game anymore you can always reinstall it remember that the more storage you have the more faster your computer can react it doesn't completely make it faster but having a clean PC is always better if you have a little bit of storage left, normally a hard drive uh, could be running very hard with the small space it has and also keeps seeking. It takes longer. I think with SSDs and M.2s, it's fixed a little, but still clean your PC. A lot of times you will always have more storage this way. For example, I don't even play Fallout 76. I haven't even played it. I can better just delete it right here. Just click on uninstall. And then it will take you to the application or you can instantly delete it. So let's see what's going to do. It instantly deleted it. Okay, that's fine. You can do this with every single app you're not using. You can uh, see the biggest files right here, but you can also see the date installed, which is of course, depending on how you use your system. If you have installed a lot of applications lately, just seek them out, delete them, and more storage is always better. And also more important, background apps. Turn them off. 
I'm just gonna give you a bonus tip. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so we can get more like this. Make sure on the left side here with settings, you search up startup apps. If you cannot find this, make sure you right click here on the Windows icon, then find Task Manager. And you can also do it here, but it looks a bit different. Here we have the startup apps, the option in Task Manager. There you go. And you can disable them here. But now I'm going to show you in the settings how to do it, which looks a bit more friendly. So here, turn off everything you're not using instantly. You can turn off everything here. I like to use ChatGPT with control space. That's my preference. May not be yours. So turn it off if you're not using it. More memory is always better. That means your system can use more of your computer's power. For example, I have Mem Reduct here. Uh, it's probably my favorite app. I use it all the time. Right below here, you can see my memory. I can just clear it with right click and then clean memory. You can see it reducing. What I recommend you do is you watch this video. Clean your RAM on our channel. Do not live without this Windows memory clean tool. And that's so much true. Let's move on to step four. You can optimize your C drive or if you have a hard drive, defragment it. But do make sure you have a hard drive if you defragment, but optimization is never bad on an SSD. So make sure you type defragment and optimize drives here at the start menu. And now I can press enter. After doing this, you can see this window, I have an SSD. So make sure that you click on optimize if you have an SSD. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be uh, cleaning up your system a little bit and your C SSD is going to be more organized and all. And defragmenting is almost the same on hard drive. You have a lot of places on the hard drive where it has put files. It's a disk, it's putting things down randomly. And then with defragmenting, it's going to clear them up a little bit. Maybe put them together, just a lot more clean. And a clean hard drive is always better because you have it has more knowledge of where is space and where is not it doesn't even have to calculate that anymore so that's why defragmenting is very good for your hard drive once a month don't do it more than once a month it should be fine and it automatically already does this on your system so here it's going to optimize and the current status is okay uh, make sure you do this once don't do it often you can do this once a month or something and then it can clean your system the frequency right here is uh, on weekly, should be standard. Here you can change settings, make sure it is on weekly or monthly. Don't do it daily, that's bad for your system. And then, yeah, that's better. So the last step is disk cleanup. You can already type it in the start menu, disk cleanup very easily, press enter, and then we can calculate what we can clean up. For example, you can see the recycle bin here. Make sure you select it if you haven't cleaned your recycle bin yet. Here we have temporary internet files. I like to deselect this one because I like to keep a lot of my internet files and sometimes get bugged a little bit. Yeah, turn them off. Make sure you turn on this one and this one, direct X shader cache and deliver optimization files, which are uh, direct X shader caches, of course, for your games. It has remembered some small things about the shaders of the game, but it doesn't really matter if you clean this. A lot of times, even shader bugs can be fixed. But yeah, it's better to clean this. So let's scroll down. You can see temporary files and thumbnails. You can select these two and it should be fine. But we can also go to clean up system files, but that means it's a little bit more advanced. If you want to clean a little bit more of your system, you can continue. If not, make sure you click on OK. And now I'm going to show you how to do it a little bit more advanced. Let's click here on clean up system files. Go to calculate a little bit more files. And here we have some old Windows updates and files that you don't really need anymore. So let's go back here. We have Windows Enter Fires. Let's turn it off. This one, temporary interfiles can be turned off. Right here, Cycle Bin. Yes. Driver packages. It has already installed all the drivers. Should be fine. If not, make sure you go to updates and you update your system. Right here at settings, uh, you can check for updates. Make sure you do this. It's really important. There you go. I have to do it. But still, go to advanced options and then go to optional updates. Make sure you get all of these updates. They are important for drivers on your system. Okay, let's continue. Temporary files, yes. Then this is all I have pretty much. You can be seeing a lot more. 
for example, old updates, old restore points. Don't really touch those because it can be very scary if you remove them, especially restore points, because you can restore a point where your computer was still working. But yeah, I have selected all of these. I've not selected temporary files. So let's go click on OK. It's going to delete these files and then you can have a little bit more storage on your computer, which is always better. Of course, these steps are all to clean up your C drive. If you want to make your computer faster, you can check that video out at the end of this video with related videos and also in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this. It has cleaned up your system by using Windows tools only. You didn't have to install anything. This was all built in. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the phonus.nl slash shop. I also have it behind me. And here you can find amazing new designs we're making. We're already working on Valentine's Day. Some great art pieces there. Hope you enjoy them. Make sure you subscribe, check that out. And also the related video. Make sure you check that one out. It's in the screen right now. And thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.